At the crossroads of Highway 20 and Highway W sits a quiet little community where you can walk to the post office to pick up your mail or drink a cup of coffee while waiting for the boys to load up your feed at the local mill. When you're in Missouri, you know you're home. Welcome to Alma. Welcome in to Alma, Missouri on our newest episode here. And on this episode, we have just finished up all of our harvesting. So now we need to start focusing on our livestock. There's actually a sale coming up for a bunch of Holstein calves that some dairy farmers have sold off. I think we're going to go up and purchase and we're going to raise Holstein calves on the farm here. So let's get down and let's get started. Well, one of the first things we need to do is actually get a cattle trailer to be able to haul these calves in. So we're going to run up to the market right now to see what they have. See if they have anything we can pull with our dually here. I don't really want to get a big enough trailer for the semi that needs to pull so we'll try to find a smaller one for this then we'll run over to the market and actually buy the calves they should be ready for auction today and this would be a perfect day to get it get them in before it gets too cold out here it is november already i'd hate to have the snow start falling when we're trying to haul calves back and forth but i'll run to town and we'll get that trailer bought another thing i'd like to buy is this grain dryer here on the right so we can dry our corn and then get a lot more money out of the corn. It went in the bin just a little wet. So if we could buy this place, get some propane in it, bring our corn up here, dry it. Then once it's dry, then we can sell it right away and make a little extra money because we do have all that corn from the harvest yesterday. So let me park here and see what we got available to buy. There is this Sooner trailer. I think that'll do pretty good. I'm not sure how many it'll hold, but hopefully it'll be enough that we can only have to make a few trips because now we have enough silage and all fermented so we can actually start making total mixed ration for them. So I'll go ahead and purchase that one. $26,000. Get hooked up to it and then go over to the livestock market. Alright, let's get it back here, load it up to the chute. Get some calves loaded in it. Alright, let's go. It's going to be the, the male, because that is what the dairy farmers do get rid of, because they only want the, the females. Looks like we'll hold 20 at a time. All right. And they won't bring us any milk or make a whole lot of profit, but, you know, all we got to do is feed them, and they will do the rest. And we could actually eventually take them to a meat market and, you know, have them butchered, make some money that way also. Let me run these back to the farm and get them loaded in our barn. Well, if you are enjoying this series, please be sure to slap that like button. It really helps push the channel out to more people. And we'd also love to have you subscribe if you haven't already. Here we are back at the farm. We just have that one cow in there now. You know, we, get, we got a cow to begin with to test everything, make sure it was going to work good. And, well, I didn't really want to sell her off, so just add to her pen. So it's possible, you know, with these coming in, we will be able to produce a little milk, but these shouldn't be producing any. Unless the laws of science have changed in the last year or two. These calves can't produce any milk. But here, let me get them loaded up in the barn. Turns out we unload them on the other side. That's alright. Here we'll drive to the barn. Of course, the trailer caught on things all the way through it, but we got it. I do like this pickup. You know, everything's adjustable, the height. And, I mean, maybe part of it is the trailer also, but I can't get the back door of the trailer to open. That's the one thing I kind of wish was different. Here we go. Let's offload them. All right. Now they're all in the barn with the one female heifer. Not sure how old she is now. 15 months. Okay. All right, we'll get some total mixed ration mixed up, and then we can go ahead and go back to town and get another load. All right, let's see if I can get this silage to stop at the right percent. 40% is what we're needing. All right, then we'll go put a hay bale in it, which will be alfalfa, and then try to finish it off with some straw. Grab the new pollen here and go over and get a couple more bales always worried when I start with a new forge wagon to try to get the mixtures right. 
every bale size is different too. Like I kind of think this bale might be too big. Might not want it to put it all in there. Let's see here. Try to tip it without dumping it all the way. Numbers to line up right. I guess this this uh, mixer wagon's a little different too. It actually takes more silage than the other. I should be able to drop that in no problem. Go ahead. I get the tractor to go high enough. Come over here and get our straw bale. Let's see how close we can get the numbers. These were all in the green now. I can just keep going until it's full. So we know one alfalfa bale, 40%. Ooh, that actually got pretty close to being over the limit. But yeah, 40% of silage, and then whatever's left of straw. Run this over and feed those calves. Go. Looks like they do go on both sides of the barn. Looks like the, the heifer's over there too. Just gonna rest. She probably doesn't like all the new babies in here, but she'll get used to it. I'll finish this and then we'll go back to town. Grab another load of calves and fill this barn part way up. We won't fill it all the way. I think it I believe it holds it 200. Let me check. Actually, it looks like it holds 350, so we might get about oh, a couple more loads of calves in here, and that'll be good enough for calves. We don't want to run out of feed for them, since it is winter, and i got to get cleared to spring again before I'm going to ever be able to harvest that alfalfa field. So i got to make sure I have enough bales. Park this right up here, grab the pickup again, and head to town. Well, we got our third load of calves on, and I'll... Just wonder if the neighbor's ever going to get rid of those old bales. Not sure if they're any good or not. Something to think about if we do run low on hay, maybe he'll sell his, if it's any good. I'm not sure. We'd have to sample it first. I'll run these to the barn and finish filling it. This will give us 60 calves and make another batch or two of total mixed ration and we should be good for the month. Alright, there we go. Another 20 head in the barn. Perfect. That closed off, get the pickup put away. Grab our tractor again. I see the cattle have an option here for uh, base food right here. I'm not sure what base food is in this on this map. I don't know if it's if they take corn or not, but I mean total mixed rations given hundred percent. And I'm seeing my health is still zero. So I'm not sure if it just we haven't had this total mixed ration in long enough to change that from a zero to something better than nothing, so really not sure. Whoop. Shut the tractor off instead of turning the mixer on. Let me grab another couple bales and get these back in the barn. Alright, this should be enough to fill it the rest of the way. There we go. Be done with this tractor for a while. Parking under this canopy in case it, it snows tonight. You never know in Missouri when it's going to snow. I know it says that on the map that there's going to be a lot of snow here in Alma. But you know, in real life, Alma really doesn't get a whole lot of snow. I mean, there's an occasional year here and there that it does snow quite a bit in that part of Missouri. But normally it's pretty mild when it comes to snowfall. We do have some cold winters, but most parts of the world do. And warm summers, hot summers sometimes. Yeah, this should do it. This should get them through. Probably get them through most of the winter. Oh, I did it again. I keep shutting the tractor off instead of the mixer off. But, oh, those, their poor legs. They're like stuck in the cement. Cow's head is in it, in the ground. All right, that's normal to see here. I'll go put this away and then we will go to December. Well here we are in December. The leaves are mostly off the trees now. And our cattle. Oh looks like they are at 100% productivity now so that is good. That has gone up. So it must just need a little bit of time. We are going through the total mixed ration fairly quick actually. They've stopped eating the hay but Total mixed ration is still going through, and they're actually out of straw, so I need to get some straw bedding in there so we can keep that going. And 
and then we can get to town to be able to buy that grain dryer so we can take our corn in. So let me get them some straw bedding. One thing I've always wanted is a mod that when you mow the grass, the grass just kind of disappears instead of just being cut. So then you need to rake it up to get rid of it. I just wish there was a way to mow it, and then it just goes away. Kind of like that bale just did. There we go. Should take that one also. There it goes. Perfect. All right, now we get to town and buy that grain dryer. The reason I want the grain dryer is corn is running around about $1,200 per thousand liters when dried corn is coming in at double that price. So I think we can make a lot more money if we would just invest a little bit of money in that grain dryer because we're going to do a lot of corn here since this is Missouri. So we are, we'll be doing corn next year and probably our big field this time. So as long as we already have the corn dryer bought, we'll be able to use it next year as well. Of course, we'll have to buy some propane for it, but I don't think that'll cost us too much for what we'll use it for. And when we're not drying corn, it's not going to cost us anything for the propane. So let me run to town and buy that, then we'll come back here and get our grain truck and start hauling it to town. Will, my wife, probably won't be happy that I'm just going to leave the cattle trailer right by the house after we hauled, you know, calves in it that kind of smelt it up a little bit, but, well, that's where I want to leave it for right now. Maybe she won't notice it until she comes outside. It is December. She probably won't get outside too much. It's getting kind of cold. Snow's in the forecast. Hopefully we can get all this stuff done before the snow rolls in. But here I'll get into town and purchase that grain dryer. All right, here's our grain dryer. I'm sure how much it costs. Ooh, $100,000. Shoot, let's say no real quick. We got 132. We still need a buy some propane well let's go ahead and do it hundred thousand buy it once never have to buy it again of course it'll take probably a couple years to pay for itself on the price that we get out of our corn by drying it over just regular but oh well now we got to go next door just across the road and buy some tank that we can haul propane with so let me do that I think this one here for the TLX, this little pull behind, probably be our best bet for it. Just want standard capacity, 5,000 liters is more than enough. I think we should change the color since it's going to be propane. Let's see, well, no, actually, normally propane is white. I guess we'll just keep it white. I mean, it looks more like a water tank, but too bad we can't put the hazmat decals on it. We'll just go with that. All right, now grab her and run across and get some propane in it. Looks like we buy the propane from the gas station. I thought maybe we'd buy it from, you know, over here somewhere where all the propane tanks were, but those are all anhydrous tanks. So the gas station looks like it's right up here next to the animal market. So let me go up there and find some propane. Looks like we'll get all the fuel from here. Hey, it's going to the right tank. That's good. Let's see how much a tank load's going to be. $5,000. Well, I guess it's not too bad. Dollar a liter. It's probably more than that in real life. I'm not sure I haven't bought a thing of propane for a while. Let me get this back and get this put in our new grain dryer. There we go. See how much it will take. Alright, that's one load in. And it looks like that's not very much, but it's only going to use 50 liters per thousand corn coming in. So that's not going to take a whole lot. So I'm just going to stick with this right now until it runs out. But we'll start bringing corn up and maybe maybe 5,000 liters of propane will be enough for this first year. Well, now the snow is starting to fall. Let's try to get a load of corn to town before it starts sticking to the ground. Your old trusted Volvo fired up here. There we go. We've got the auger all set up. Hopefully it'll be set up the right height for this. I'm going to see why not. Actually, it looks probably like it's too high. Actually, you know what? I'm on, it's on the wrong bin. That is the oats bin. I need to move it to the next bin over. So let me back this back out of the way and swap bins. 
Just kind of glad I remembered that before I started filling the truck up with... Was it oats or wheat? I think it was wheat. Always got that... Or no, it was barley. It was some kind of crop. There's some kind of crop in that bin over there. When we empty it out, we'll remember. Actually, okay, I'm going to look up. Look it up. It is wheat. Okay, it was wheat. Not barley. Not oats. But wheat. But now we should be set up correctly the right crop. Oh, there. Corn. There better be corn in here. There we go. It's working just fine. Well, once this gets loaded up, we will head into town. Alright, we are fully loaded. Let's get to town. Hopefully it's not going to snow too much. I do see January is the best month to sell both the wheat and the corn. The dried corn, that is. I'm not sure about you know, wet corn. Didn't even look at that because we won't have any of that left. So what we will do next month, we will go back into town, get our dried corn out of that bin and sell it, and then start hauling our wheat to town too. Hopefully there won't be too much snow, but we can go ahead and buy us a, a snow blower or a snow plow to be able to get through if we had to. We're not going to have a lot of money though, so we might have to try to get a one load to town without doing too much plowing work. I mean, worst case scenario, we could always have some snowing equipment delivered to us. But let me get this into the dryer and see if we can get it turned up. Well, I'm just pulling back into the house yard here to get our last load of corn out. The snow is really starting to come down pretty good. It looks like we already have about a thousand liters dried in the bin uptown. So that's going to go pretty quick get the last of this loaded up and taken to town then hopefully it'll all be dried for you know the next month which is you know tomorrow since we're only on one day months here in Alma so it shouldn't take us too long and we'll run back to town grab the corn out of the, the dryer and take it to market all right here we are with the remainder of our corn from our bin another 21,000 liters not too much over just the one compartment. Very little in the back. Finish this off and see real quick just how much we've dried so far. Yeah, we got we're up to 1,800 liters dried. So I think in 24 hours we should have enough. Let me get the last compartment emptied out here. We'll be done until next month. Didn't want to, oh, it took it. There, it's all done. All right. Cover that up so it doesn't fill with snow. Get this back to the house, put it in the barn. And then tomorrow we can bring our wheat to town and then move our corn to market. So see you tomorrow. Well, it definitely did do some snowing last night. I'm actually out of total mixed ration in the barn. But I see we actually had... A surprise over in our sheep pen. Our one female lamb we have ended up having twins. One male and one female. I was a little shocked there. Didn't know the sheep even had twins. Let's see, there's... Looks like there's Mama. Not sure where the babies are. Maybe they're in the barn trying to keep warm. Oh, I hear one. I don't see him anywhere, but there maybe that's no, that's well, that is him. You don't look very good down there, huh? Oh well. Now let me get some total mix ration in our barn for the calves, and then we can get to town and try to get to town at least in the snow. It's supposed to snow all day, so we need to get it done before it gets too deep get to town and get that corn taken over and also get some of our wheat to town. Let me get some feed first. One nice thing about the game, doesn't matter how cold it is, the tractors still start. We don't have any starting problems here on the farm. I, someone, I had numerous problems growing up trying to get a tractor to start when it's below freezing. 
course, the older tractors, you'd always use starting fluid, and that would you know, help pretty good. You just got to you know, try to get the right amount and then get the filter all put back together by the time it fires. These newer ones, you know, they, normally if you'd have them plugged in, they would start right up. And they'd crank a little bit. Not too bad. Let me get the rest of this put in, then we're going to come back and make one more batch of it, too. With all the snow we have received overnight, I wanted to get a snow blower, but I really don't have the money, so we're probably just going to have to use the blade that we already had. It will work on the tractor, so, so we'll probably have to blade out in front of the barn where the, the truck is parked to be able to get it to town to be able to move grain around. So I'm actually probably going to have to blade out around the grain bin as well so he can get over there to get the wheat. Now that we got enough feed in these guys for today, we will go and hook this up to the blade and start pushing some snow around. The blade is back here. Yep, there it is. It's a pretty nice blade. I'd rather have a snow blower so we can blow it all out of the way, but this will work. Oh, do I have wheel weights on this tractor? I don't know. It don't look like I did. But hopefully we have enough traction to push the snow. But I will make a path in front of the barn and then around these grain bins and out to the road. Hopefully the road will be good enough. Because I don't think the highway department's going to go down our gravel road today. Especially with it still snowing. But I will push this snow out. See if it works right. really don't want to push it in front of the building. But I probably, what I did, I probably just pushed it all into the building somehow. I'll plate some more of this, and then we'll get the truck out. Yeah, somehow that is what I did. I ended up pushing the snow through the door of the building into the building. That wasn't very realistic. This tractor's doing just fine in the snow. I should be able to blade enough of this. At least make it good enough that we can get the truck over. Come this way once, and try to push the snow the other way. And get a path good enough. Or the semi. Alright, there I think we've got a path cleaned up good enough that we can get the truck through it. I haven't even looked at the market today to see if the markets are doing good, but yesterday they were looking like they were supposed to be. So I should shut the lights off. Oh. Alright, let's get in the truck and get it loaded up. Well, one thing I forgot to do was switch the auger to the other bin. Now I've piled up all the snow to where I can't get the auger in right. Let's see if I can get this angle just right that we can not make a big mess and still get the auger back to where we need it. There, I think that'll work. One more little push here without backing into the Volvo. Oh, and hitting the bin. Uh, I don't think it'll quite fit under it. And I think our auger will work though. All right, now I'll try to get this tractor out of the way, and then we can get the auger put back in. Now we can see if we lined it up good enough. Hopefully I can make this corner without hitting the auger when we try to leave. There we go. Nope, filling up with wheat, and we'll go to town. Well, we're loaded. Let's try to get enough momentum to keep around this corner, because that trailer is going to go off a little bit. It's probably going to want to get stuck had trouble lining up with the grain bin because it wanted to be off just a little bit. There, we made it. Now, get out onto the gravel road and hopefully we can truck on down the road just fine. Of course, the road's not been bladed, so we'll see once we get on it just how it does. I don't want to go too slow, but I don't want to go too fast either. There we go. All right, well, let's get to town. Well, at least the city streets are bladed off. Don't have any more trouble. Gravel Road really wasn't too bad. I don't know how long it's going to be snowing though. Tomorrow might be a lot worse, but we should be staying home tomorrow. I don't think we're even going to go out in February. Don't need to. I guess I got to remember where I'm going. I'm not going to dry this. I'm headed to the to the market to sell it. Let me get up there and get her sold off. All right, get some wheat offloaded here. 
and see what the market even is. Dried corn. Prices are dropping right now, so we got to hurry and get over and grab that, which is just a block away, so that won't be too bad. But the wheat price is also going down, but it's still better to sell it here than taking it by train. So the first one's done. I mean, let's see how much that was worth. Maybe the back one will tell us. Alright, unload it. Let's see how much we get. Looks like 24, so we're looking at $48,200 for a whole load. Alright, turn around here. I think I'll just go right through this building to get over to the grain dryer. Here's our load of dry corn. It actually says the grain mill has the best, best price. I'm not sure how much I can take here until it maxes out. I will at least try it. I don't have very far to go. Not all of our corn was all the way dry. Here we go. Start offloading. See how much of it will take. I'd love for it to take all of it. I think it will take at least 100,000 liters. We don't have that much, so... Should be good. See the first portion of the load. Oh yeah, 56,000. That's really good. Really good price. So it should be another 56,000. Then we'll go and let's see what I got left. Uh, of course, I don't know how much I have left. It doesn't say on that one. So let me go down here to the corn dryer. I only have 16,000 liters left. So maybe I'll just hold off on that. Sell it at a different time. So there's another 56,000. Well, that should be enough for today. We've got all of our grain. We do still have some wheat in our bin. So we'll hold off on it and sell it when the snow's not all over the place. Make it a little easier to get around. That should do it for this episode here on Alma, Missouri. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to slap that like button. And until next time, have a blessed day and Bye bye. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ.